Uh, hello, my name is Yuma Yanagisawa. Um, I'm a media artist, and uh, now we are looking at uh, this piece um, that I made uh, just uh, yesterday um, for uh, this uh, display. Um, it's called the Paint That's Dream. Um, the, I wanted to make a piece. Um, if um, impression is the painter, uh, well, alive today, and what would he make? Um, that's the idea of uh, this piece. Um, now we have um, AI technology, and uh, we can also create incredible uh, 3D simulation. So I wanted to uh, combine them and uh, create a really meditative, moving image piece. How does the AI function here? What does the AI do? Mm -hmm. uh, by AI, uh, here I mean um, those um, uh, colorful uh, pictures. Um, some Does it help to match the color? Uh, the AI helped you with the matching, or how do you select all these colors? Um, I used the um, AI model and uh, generate uh, many images. Um, those images are really um, colorful uh, because the model gets training data from painting images. How does it feel for you to see your art on this screen here? Ventana Technology, here the Digital Arts Week here in London. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, the scale is um, really impressive. Also, the environment of this space makes uh, this uh, display uh, stand out. And now it's uh, switching? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on a loop, right? Loop, yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, LED displays um, can produce very contrasty um, images. So I think um, my work is really uh, suitable for um, LED. Um, displays, so I'm happy to um, show my work uh, on on this display. Um, that Does it go in a loop, or there's uh, other content you're showing here at the event also? Yeah. Maybe we can uh, have a look at some of the. Mm -hmm. mm, next one. All right. Have you uh, been able to experience your art on big displays before? Yes, um, I did. Um, uh, in last September, I participated in a big uh, digital art festival called uh, Aris Electronica, um, which um, takes place uh, in September every year. And so in last uh, September, I did a screening um, at a very uh, large scale um, projection room. Um, the projection room is really um, huge. Um, as far as I remember, at the projection um, area uh, was 16 meter by nine meters. Um, so I, that experience um, made me realize um, how immersive uh, visuals can influence uh, people's like emotions and so forth. And so that's why I like to keep exploring um, this kind of um, aesthetic.
And uh, where do we see now? Um, now, um, we are looking at uh, my another work uh, called uh, AI Landscapes. Um, a few years ago, I trained um, AI model using uh, many images of uh, Dubai. So um, in this piece, um, you see really uh, kind of a surreal architecture or surreal buildings, um, but uh, still um, you can kind of feel the essence of the city, uh, such as these uh, really uh, blue um, buildings or like really um, serene uh, skies or these um, quite like vibrant um, lights. And what do we see now? Oh yes, um, this is my another piece uh, called AI Flowers. Um, um, throughout my artistic practice, I would like to um, integrate uh, nature into my work uh, because I believe um, nature represents um, calmness. So um, using nature really um, allows me to create a meditative pieces. Um, for example, in this case, um, when you look at uh, flowers, um, you somehow feel um, kind of mesmerized. Of course, um, partly because the color is incredibly vibrant, but it also people probably remember um, uh, the beauty of nature um, because the flowers one of the best examples uh, to um, kind of showcase um, how like, beautiful uh, nature is. Do you think um, the people will enjoy watching this loop for many, many hours or years even? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope so. Um, uh, I think um, moving image works can be quite meditative. Of course, when you look at some like motion graphics, um, those um, motions are almost kind of aggressive, but uh, um, it's, it's definitely possible to create um, organic, um, organic calming um, movements in order to uh, heal the viewer. So I'm really interested in uh, the healing power of art um, by making these meditative um, organic movements um, as well as um, offering uh, vibrant colors. I do think um, artists are able to create. Um, Maybe at a, like a resort or a clinic or a hospital they could have this. Yeah, and the uh, patients, it's part of their healing process. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, uh, some people uh, reached out to me um, for that purpose. Um, so I do see the potential of my art um, for um, clinical um, environment as well. What is the best distance to experience this one on this screen? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Some people are really into details. So I think um, they really want to um, go go like this. Um, it's really close to the screen, but still you can appreciate that detail, such as um, the shape of each particle. But uh, if, you're, um, if you want to appreciate the whole structure, maybe you can a little bit step back and um, um, kind of observe the whole movement. Um, when you step back, uh, you can watch um, many kinds of movements at the same time. 
um, it's a really um, interesting viewing experience, uh, in my opinion. What do you think of the quality of this display? Quality? Um, like I said, um, I really like uh, this uh, display. Um, I do think the uh, dark space um, helping um, as well. Um, in order very, to, very good blacks and all yeah, the colors. The contrast, um, the uh, contrast and the colors, are, yeah, this color gamut and everything. Yeah. Sharpness, and uh, it's not possible to see the, the 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 modules like at a certain distance. It's just like it's one smooth screen. Ah. If you really go close to the screen, maybe yeah. you can see like on e each particle here. It's hard to see, huh? Like, like. You need to be in the right angle with the lights and stuff like that. Mm. Um, how about this aspect ratio? Ah. You yeah. present your art in this aspect ratio before, or this is very special? For me, uh, five by four. It's my first time, actually. Um, it's kind of similar to square, one by one, but uh, of course, as you can see, the width is a little bit longer. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, 4x3. 4x3, um, it's um, another interesting aspect of ratio, I think. Um, kind of reminds me of um, all the movies, for example. What do you think is the best aspect ratio potentially to experience this piece? Um, I think it depends on where you'd like to install a uh, display. Uh, in this case, um, this is the space. So I think uh, this aspect ratio uh, is working really well. But uh, if you have like a really long uh, board, for example, Maybe um, the aspect ratio uh, could be like, I don't know, like a five by one or something, like a really long uh, panorama kind of display. Uh, it would be amazing as well. And you can deliver that? Yeah. You can export course. everything yeah, people yeah, ask? Yeah, I'd love to do it. Yeah. How about the uh, multiple walls? Multiple walls. The whole room should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be. Um, a great idea as well. Um, if you um, have, for example, um, three displays uh, uh, behind, no, in front of you, and on the left and uh, on the right, then the experience will be like more immersive. Um, the, if the work is this kind of a piece, the experience will be incredibly meditative and this, so I do see the potential um, of implementing multiple uh, displays um, in order to really appreciate an um, immersive large-scale artworks. So we are in an art gallery right now, right? And there could be art galleries all over the world should be interested in this, right? Yeah, I mean... Is that next? I, I, like uh, everybody knows um, that uh, digital art is... Um, it's, it's getting popular today. Um, the many, if you visit um, any of um, any big city, um, each city has a dedicated um, place for large scale projection. Um, so I, I do think, um, um, I do think that those displays um, capture many people's attention.